Hello everyone, my name is Julie. Thank you so much for watching. And today I'm going to be doing a video I didn't think I was going to be filming today, but I'm going to show you my empties. And the reason why I didn't think I was going to be showing you this is because I thought I was going to wait a little bit longer to the end of the year, but then I realized that I've been hoarding empties for the last month and a half and I've got a lot here, so it's going to take a little bit longer than I normally like my empties to be to go through all the products. So no, you will probably see another one here in January with my full products. Also note, there are going to be some spoilers in here because there's some Project Pan stuff that I have finished that I'm going to show you in these empties, but I still want you to go watch those videos because my Project Pans are my most favorite videos to film and show you when I finally have empties on them. So let me show you the empties I have. And because I normally start with skincare, I thought it'd be fun today to start with makeup because I've got a lot of makeup and I think most of it's because of my Project Pans and hurrying to get things out of my collection before the end of the year. So let's start with nails. By the way, do you notice how red I'm feeling today? I'm feeling very holiday and reddish. <laughs> it's red everywhere. Um, okay, so I finished off this clear nail polish. This is the Formula X. This is the Shine Excel. They don't make this anymore. It was good until I got to the very end. And here's the problem. Do you see how I have a little bit left in there? It's so goopy and thick. It actually, I couldn't do like a thin line on my nails and I would get bubbles. And there's nothing worse than having a perfect manicure and then getting bubbles in your top coat. That's like, okay, there are lots of things worse than that. Not having a home is worse than that or food is worse than that. But <laughs> in nail polish world, that's the worst thing. I also finished off a base coat. This is the OPI Natural Nail Base Coat. I did enjoy this. Again, I've got a little bit left, but I don't want to, like, try and get that out. Like, I'd have to dig in twice every time to do one nail, and that'd be 20 times to get my... No. I do not have time for that. I love putting my nails, and I do not have time for that. So an empty that you've already seen of my nail polishes, this is the Julep Nail Polish in Curdy. I finished off in my last update, so I'm excited that this one is gone. As you can see, I've got some lines there. It took me about three months to work it through it. And then, spoiler alert, my 12 pans of Christmas. I finished up my mini OPI. This is in this reddish brown shade. You can't see the bottom in there, but trust me, there ain't nothing on the brush. <laughs> it's like... Like there's nothing there you see the brush so this one is done so I'm excited to finish up this nail polish I've been working so hard to finish up my nail polishes and I'm getting there yes I am I'm getting there but I think I might finish up one more before the end of the year but I'll show you an update that later um, I also used up this NYX Butter Lip Balm. This was part of my Project Pan 2017 Lip Edition Use It Up. Um, this was number 14? This is either 13 or 14 that I finished up because here is number 14. Okay, we'll say that's 13 and we'll call this one 14. This is the Stila Lip Glaze in the shade Raisin. I love this shade so much. It's got this brush on it. I thought it was great. Um, I know why these were so popular, but I also know why they're not anymore. This was like a smaller one that came in a kit and took about two weeks to use it up. So I'm really glad that that is done. Okay, here's another spoiler alert. Number 15. <laughs> this is it. I finally finished the Bourjois Lip Gloss. <laughs> this thing that <laughs> never could die. <laughs> but can you see? I've got all sorts of holes. I was like scraping the bottom. And it looks like I've got some left in here, but problems I don't. Um, I did not pull a stopper on this just because it would get so goopy. But like, look at that brush. It's like dry and crusty. Blech. Okay, so number 15 is done. And I am getting really close on number 16. And really close on number 17. So um, you will not see this on my 2017 product use up lip edition 
um, progress report that's going to come up in a few weeks here, only because I'm going to the States and I don't want to take an empty lip container to the States with me. Like there's no need to take empty lip gloss with me. So no, in that project, you're only going to see what's not in this, in this like video. So because I'm showing you this empty, it's number 15. <laughs> I'm so excited. I only have two more left to go. Like the end is in sight. Aren't you excited? I'm excited. Um, <laughs> then here's another spoiler for my project competition. I finally used up the Scandalize. This is Rimmel Rock and Curves Mascara. Uh, this is, I thought was a great mascara. At the very end here, let's see, I opened this in the seventh month. We are now in the twelfth month, so five months ago. I normally change over my mascaras from like the the three to five month mark. I try not to go anymore, but this is what the brush looks like. You can see it's kind of getting goopy now. But um, this was like still going strong. Like there's still liquid product in there. It's just clumping a little bit and flaking now that five month mark. So I finished this and I am really excited because that actually lasted longer than I thought it was going to. That lasted longer than some of my high end mascaras, which I do have to rotate every three months. So room mascara, you surprise me. <laughs> I love that. Okay. Let's move on to brows. Oh no, I got one more eye thing. Excuse me. Hold on. I also finished up this rose gold caviar stick. This is from Laura Mercier. Again, this is part of that project competition, but you already saw this empty. Um, the way I film my updates and my empties like doesn't really correspond, so you're kind of seeing like two overlapping time periods here. Okay, because you already saw that one. Let's jump to brows because this is something else you saw in my one of my use it ups, my project pan. This is the Clear Brow Gel by Anastasia. This has super strong hold. I like it. I do. I don't think I need a clear brow gel because I don't really like gel pencils. They're not bad. They're not horrible. This one is Chella and is in the tantalizing taupe shade. Um, it's just not my favorite way to do my brows. I like tinted brow gels better. And if I have a tinted brow gel, I don't need a clear brow gel. Um, this one is really stiff. I just saw someone on YouTube mention that it's like spraying hairspray in your brows, and I completely agree with that. It's a little crunchy. It's good for hold, but it's not exactly what I'm looking for, and neither is this cello one. This color was also slightly off to me, so that's kind of like a, a two for a no. But I'm really glad to use those up. Okay. Oh, do you see how much makeup I used up? Isn't that fantastic? I'm so proud of myself. I am so <laughs> And where, where am I uploading this? Oh, okay, so you just saw my numbers. And take into account, probably 80% of what you're seeing here was taken into account to the numbers that you saw yesterday. I did, or on Wednesday, I pre-filmed that video. Um, so it's already like uploaded as I'm filming this one. And some of these I used up like a couple days ago. And it was after I filmed that one. So it's not... The numbers aren't exact, okay? But it's just like a moment in time. That's what I have to keep reminding myself. It's just like a moment in time, those numbers. So if they're constantly going to be evolving, and I'm going to be constantly using things up. Okay. Then there's this little guy. This disgusting... Ooh, it's still damp. That's gross. This is the Micro Beauty Blender. This is the little black one, so it's the pro one. I thought that these were totally gimmicky when they first came out, and then I got one for a free code from Sephora and I was like well I'll just give it a go because it's a little beauty blender and I love beauty blenders so I was using it up underneath my eyes holy moly this was really nice <laughs> this was like really nice and I know that sounds stupid and these are stupid expensive but I ended up buying this year for Christmas because this one just wore out in six months which I probably should have switched earlier than that but it's okay um I bought like the little purple ones from Real Techniques and what's interesting is that it's bigger than these are, but I'm liking them just as much, and I got two for $4.50. So that's really exciting for me. I love this, but it is time for it to go. Which I'm kind of sad about, but it's okay. I got new ones. Then for, here's another spoiler, for my um, Rush the Finish, I had a bunch of perfume samples, and I've got two here. 
I want to finish 10 and I've got 5 left to go, but here's 3 of them. This is uh, the one you've seen before. This is the YSL Mon I already have a full size of it. It is this one right here. Hello with the little bow on it. Adorable. And then I also have Replica by the Fireplace. As you can see when I did that update, I was right down there and now it is completely gone. So that, that is exciting. Glad to see those go, because uh, I didn't need to hang on to those anymore. Then I've got, oh, I should have done this with nail polish. This is the Formula X Delete All. This is the five fingernail polish remover. It's one of these, oh my god, I really screwed it on there. It's one of these formulas where you stick your fingers in the holes. You kind of judge up and down, and then the nail polish comes off. This is not good for glitter, but this is good for any other type of nail polish. I like it. My problem is, is this the black foam bit? I don't know if you can see that. It starts to crumble after a while, and there's still nail polish remover in here, but because of the crumbling of the black foam, I, I hate it. I absolutely hate it. So this one I'm throwing out and calling done. I probably used it for two and a half, three months before the crumble started. And that's eight dollars. Well, when they used to have Formula X, it was eight bucks. And it's not that it's not a good product, because it did remove everything but glitter. I'm just saying that eight dollars is a lot of money for nail polish remover when it doesn't last. I mean, I have one that I've been using for like a year and a half from TJ Maxx, and I still have like half of it left. So just to make sure the tap, the tap, the tap, the top is screwed on real tight, then you're like good to go. Okay, then we have. Let's go to skincare. Jump. Let's jump on to skincare. So I have also been using up in my rush to finish sheet masks. So some of these you've seen before and some of them are brand new. I've got the Tony Moly Pureness 100 mask. I put them in plastic bags because they get all goopy. You can see like the goopiness here. All the serum left in. But I've used that one up. I've also used up the skin purifying um, mask. Did I just drop one on the ground? Oh no I did! Come back! Okay. And then I used up the avocado mask from Tony Moly, which was really exciting. So I'm glad to use those up. Um, one of the numbers that you just saw that I'm really proud of is my sheet mask usage. I've been really working on bringing it, the numbers down, and I think I'm now like much better at that. I've also finally tried for the very first time this Biore Deep Cleansing Charcoal Pore Strip. Um, I did it wrong. <laughs> So, it says, I mean, it, I even read the ingredients I didn't do it right. It says, like, put a lot of water on your nose and then put it on. Well, I, like, kind of took water in my hands and kind of, like, dabbed water on my nose and then tried to put this on. So, I would say that it worked a little bit, but I need to get my nose a whole lot wetter to make it fully effective. Like, when I put this on and I peeled it off, I did see some gunk come out of my nose and I did see the oil kind of diminish around my nose. But I also don't have really oily skin, but I definitely know it wasn't wet enough because it says it's supposed to be like paper mache and it did not get to the paper mache metallic or like the paper mache like feel to peel it off. So I have another one of these. I'm going to give it another go and see if my second time is more successful. <laughs> if you use those, by the way, let me know. Do you like them? Do you not like them? Do you find them effective? Do you not? Just inquiring minds want to know. Uh, <laughs> let's go to these two things. So. Another spoiler alert, I finished my Mario Badescu spray, which was in my project competition, so I'm really excited to see this one go. This works surprisingly well for me for like usage. It took about four months exactly for a two ounce bottle, which I thought was fantastic. Um, it did not keep my makeup like particularly long, but it did like kind of refresh my face. I don't know, I'm not going to be reproaching this, but like I was really impressed with how long it lasted for what it is, so that's cool. I also used up this Honest Beauty Elevated Hydration Replenishing Mist. This was in, <laughs> when I moved, I put this in a project pan, my traveling project pan, so I wouldn't bring it here to Germany and I didn't finish it. But once I finished my Mario Badescu spray, I decided to pull this one in and I used it up within the week. So this was a, is there going to be anything left in it? A little bit. Did you see that? It's like a really fine mist. I also didn't find that this one set my makeup particularly well. 
but it did add some hydration. It was really nice during the summer when it got so hot and I just kind of like missed my face to cool off. But the smell of this, it smells like earthy organics. It's kind of like the, the herb scent. A little rosemary, you know. You know what I'm talking about. It, a lot of, a lot of skincare has that fragrance. Uh, <laughs> oh, where'd I go? Okay, let's go to removing makeup because, you know, I used up this, I'm gonna mispronounce this, Shisara. This is a brand I got here in Germany from the dollar store. And it's supposed to be for removing makeup. It was raining on Stucker for Alice Hoodie Pen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This was good. I kept these. I used them. They weren't like stand out to me, but they were only a dollar, so whatever. I use them for swatches. I use them to take off my makeup. I use them to wash my face. I use them like all sorts of things. Whatever. Uh, I finally used up this Bosha Tsubaki Oil Infused Exfoliating Powder. This was part of my Scary Project Pan. You can see I just had kind of a quarter left. Um, and now actually there's more powder in the bottom, but I don't care. This was like nothing special, and they don't even sell it anymore. It's been discontinued. That's how unspecial it was. Um, my big issue was that because it's a powder, I poured it in my hand. Well, I washed my face in the shower, so it immediately got wet. It got wet inside like this glass tube because it's literally just open. There's nothing. See, isn't that gross? This is all dried on there. Like, whatever. The moisture was just an issue, and... The delivery method was a problem. It's discontinued. I don't care. I just wanted to get out of it. It was a project. It was in a project that I didn't quite finish it, and then I finished it. So, boom. There we go. <laughs> I also, my next spoiler alert, I finished the Simple Micellar Water. Yay, for the second time this year. This is, like, not that great of a product. <laughs> I was here. Now I'm at the bottom. I finished this up last night, which kind of prompted this video because I saw how full my bag was getting. And... I don't think I really love micellar waters, but I just bought the Bioderma. And that's like the one micellar water that really intrigues me because it kind of started the whole micellar water trend, in my opinion, in my Western opinion. Um, maybe if you're from an Eastern culture that that's not true, but in my world it is, especially YouTube world. Um, but this is crap and I'm never going to buy it again. I got this one for free, so like... That's why I had it. I got it in like a Walmart beauty box. And I'd already tried one from a birch box. It was in like a award winning box, but didn't didn't do it for me. Then let's go on to moisturization, shall we? We have a couple of, we'll do one more spoiler alert. And this is for my 12 pans of Christmas. I used up the Body Shop Body Butter in Cranberry. I kind of like, I took it all the way down because I loved it so much. The scent of this was just so good and so inviting. And guess what? I found another one. Um, I don't know where the other one came from. I must have been hoarding these. Because <laughs> they smell so good. And I found, this came in a kit with um, an apple one and a plum one. And I found those two as well with my other cranberry one hiding. So it's, I'm going to pull all three of those out and start using them one at a time. I'm really excited. I have the apple one now, but I kind of miss the cranberry, but this is done. Body butters are so nice for the winter time. They're just so hydrating. They do a really good job. I use them after I shave my legs because you get a lot of dry skin. And um, I kind of go like shave my legs, exfoliate my legs. For, like every day I kind of trade off. Um, so on the third day I'll shave my legs and exfoliate, you know, and I just need some lotion because that's a lot of... A lot of effort my legs are going through during the winter time. Um, face. Let's go to face. I finally finished this Mitchell and Peach Fine Radiance Face Oil. To be honest with you, again, I had a problem with the delivery method. You're not going to be able to see it, but there's a little tube that kind of comes down. And what you have to do is you have to like bang this in your hand to get the oil to come out, and then you rub it on your face. And at the very end, I was like shaking and shaking and shaking because once the liquid gets below like this line, it doesn't get into the top of the tube. <laughs> Which then defeats the purpose of trying, because I have to like shake it to get it in the tube, shake it into my hand and I like the oil. It was a fine oil. I have no idea where to buy Mitchell and Peach. I think this came in an Ipsy like a year ago. I've never heard of the brand before. I still have never heard of the brand before. It was a good oil, but 
I'm glad I don't have it anymore. Then I finished this Beauty Counter Every Night PM Hydrating Cream. As you know, I do want to try and start being healthier with my skincare and makeup. Um, I have a lot to go through that's not healthy first though, so it's just I'm thinking about it more and more. That's It's a slow and even process for me. This one was nice. I really liked it. I have um, a skincare regimen that I need to use up before I move on to this, but I do like Beauty Counter. I just wish their prices were more reasonable. I mean, $80 for some skincare is a lot of money, and that's for one item out of their entire line, so it's hit or miss, but I like what they stand for, so, and my friend sells it, so I like to support her. This is the Smooth Lemongrass Body Lotion. You saw this in another project. Why, this never shows up. It's so white. I got this. Whew, I don't, don't know what happened there. A whole lot of pressure just happened right here. This was from Norwegian Cruise Lines. This was also in a project pan. I used that up. I'm trying to get through my lotions. If you, again, you saw my numbers on Wednesday, I've got so many lotions that I really need to hem in, hem in, haw in? Hem in? Do I need to hem them in? Do I need to? It seems weird. Basically, I need to stop buying body lotions. I have so many, and I just need to use the ones I have. So you're going to start seeing a lot of those in Project Pans. Um, I started realizing how many lotions I had when I moved here to Germany, when I had like a whole drawer full of lotion. <laughs> so that's something you're going to see. This one I did not use up, but this evaporated on me, and I'm totally pissed. <laughs> this is the e.l.f. Daily Brush Cleaner. This is supposed to be two ounces of it. I didn't use this one time and it's gone. Like I didn't, it's not, it's tight. Like it's tight, the cap was on. Like, I don't know what happened, but this evaporated, it's gone. And I'm really sad about it. I like this to spot clean my brushes. You just spray them on, swirl them on a towel and it, they're somewhat clean. And I just really like that because I'm lazy with deep cleaning my brushes. And this just really helped me as like a daily cleaner. But I know there's probably a lot of alcohol in it, which is why I dried up. But still, I'm sad. <laughs> because I spent money on it, and then I didn't use it. Because I got too much stuff in my makeup collection. Alright. Do I sound like a whiny, I'm a whiny person there? That was my goal. Um, <laughs> this is Float Shampoo. You've already seen the conditioner here, I believe. I have no idea where I got this. It looks like something I picked up in... A hotel somewhere along the line but this is a one fluid ounce of subtle refined shampoo formulated with certified Hawaiian deep sea water now the question is what does Hawaiian deep sea water do for your hair I don't know and I couldn't tell from using the shampoo so the world may never know <laughs> I also use this Coppola Peter Thomas Roth legacy keratin concept it got really beat up because I beat it up in the shower um, but this stuff was fantastic. I have never heard of Coppola um, conditioner before I, use, I worked at Ulta. And we had this Coppola brand. And I had never used it before. I never like tried anything. And then someone was like, oh, it's really good. And then we got some for gratis. And I was just like, oh, okay, I'll try it out. So when I got here, my hair was kind of dry. But this was such a good... I would... If you have thin, dry hair like me... I don't color it, but the ends still get like super dry. Well, I shouldn't say I don't color it. The first time I ever colored it was actually in 2017. I went red, which was really exciting. Um, this was so nice. Like it was really thick and I was able to put on my hair. I let it sit there for about three minutes in the shower and my ends just felt so nice and hydrated. I did not see as many um, flyaways, which I thought was great. But I know this is a little bit more expensive, but Ulta does have sales on it. So I'm definitely going to look into picking this one up again. Again, this is the Total Repair Smoothing Conditioner. Loved it. This is just a little, little two, three ounce size, but there's a bigger one and I think I'm going to go and purchase it. I've never heard of the brand before. I've never seen anybody ever mention it. We sold very little of it when I worked at Ulta because no one's ever heard of it. But it's so good. I loved it. I loved it. And then, if you're interested, I did use up two deodorants because I count deodorants in my numbers, so I thought I'd show them to you. So, um, it said in the count that I had three, now I only have two, <laughs> because I used up this little guy. This is the Dove Advanced Care. 
This is the Cooling Essentials. It has a little cucumber on it. I don't know. That's what it looks like. You can see it has like the, the plastic. I like Dove. I don't have anything wrong with Dove. If I'm working out, Dove isn't great, but like in general, in the winter when it's not too hot, Dove is fine for me. And then I used up for my summer one, which is my Secret Clinical Strength Smooth Solid Powder Protection. Love this stuff. I will forever repurchase it. I wish it didn't have aluminum. I think Dove also does too. Yeah. Yeah. 20% and 15%. Um, I kind of thought Dove was more healthy. But the thing is, I have tried natural deodorants. And either I still sweat or my armpits like stick to me, which is totally gross. Or, you know, I still smell. I just haven't found the perfect one yet. And I know your body has to like kind of cleanse. But after two weeks of smelling... I don't want my body to cleanse anymore. Like, I give myself two weeks with a deodorant, and if I can't figure it out by then, like, I have to go back. So, <sighs> we made it to the end, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Um, please note that I will be leaving for the United States, so some of my videos might get a little wonky. <laughs> I've started pre-filming some of them, and I'm losing myself in time and space. <laughs> but I do appreciate you spending your time with me. And just give me all your support. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you later. Thanks.